There's so many good ideas on Pinterest, but it's so overwhelming. Which ones do you choose for your child? Based on their age, how do you know if your child's gonna like it? What if you spend all this time setting up this Pinterest craft and your kid just runs away? <laughs> they don't want to have anything to do with it. They'd rather play with a box. You are a parent or a caregiver of a toddler. And let's be honest, sometimes you just want someone to spoon feed you some ideas for a change. You just want simple, go-to, easy things to do with your child that you know are gonna help them learn language, cognitive skills, social skills, and more. You wanna get the most bang for your buck. We all want our children to start off on the right foot. I'm Adrian. I'm a speech language pathologist, and I have tons and tons of ideas for you, but I'm gonna keep them really simple and short, in short bite-sized videos that you can watch on a rainy day when you need some inspiration. You've heard that playing with your child is how they learn, and you want to play with them, you want to help them grow, but you don't know where to start. Welcome to One Toy Wonders. This is a series that I'm going to make to take simple everyday household items that you already have and transform them into a toy where you're playing with your child, your child's learning, and you're both having fun together. All right, the first item that you probably already own is a roll of tape, scotch tape, duct tape, any kind of tape that you have will work, painter's tape, this can be a vocabulary activity where your kid is learning the words tape. They can learn the word roll, circle, hat. They can learn the words pull, rip, tear, ouch, when it sticks to them. They're going to learn the word sticky. You can take a piece of tape and put it on your nose and say, where's the tape? Nose, nose. You can talk about body parts, you can talk about ears, shoulders, elbow. You can stick it to their nose, you can stick it to their elbow, to their shoes. You can say, where's the tape? Oh, it's on your shoes. You can target all kinds of language. Put it on your ear and say, ooh, earring. You can take a little roll of it and make a bracelet. You could make a ring. If your child's a little bit older, you can talk about little, bigger, biggest. Take a piece of tape and roll it on your carpet, stick it down on the ground, and take a toy car and roll it as if it's a road. Tape's fun to draw on, so if you're learning letters, numbers, shapes, you can draw on the tape and you can talk about triangle. Ooh, can you put the triangle on the door? Rip off the tape, see if they can follow some early directions. Put the triangle on the door. Oh, put the square under the couch. Can you put the star on your nose? You can take the roll of tape and pretend that it's a hat. And you can go, uh, uh, achoo! And you can talk about the word sneeze, bless you, oh no, I'm sick. And pretend that it's something that you can talk on the phone with. Hello, oh hi, it's for you. Do some pretend play to increase their creativity and their imagination. You can make a caterpillar with the tape and you can talk about pom-poms and you can use the word on stick, on stick. Just be really repetitive so that they learn these words and then you can make it go. Say go, 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 go caterpillar. So they're learning tons of vocabulary. You can even use tape to put on your child's favorite toys. So here's a little plastic fish. You can pretend that it's swimming. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You can talk about the word fish. You can talk about the word swim, water, wet. You could dry them off. You could actually dip them in water and have them play with that. You could attach like a little pin and pretend like you're fishing. So you could have this fish on the ground and you could try to pick it up with the tape. Oh, caught a fish. So you're targeting lots of vocabulary. Pretend play, pretending that you're fishing. This is a great activity and kids love it. You could take your child's favorite stuffed animal or a puppet like I have, and you could say, here you go, put it on his eye. Ooh, eye. Can you put it on his nose? Nose. Can you put it on his mouth? Mouth. Can you put it on his hand? Oh, and then you can take it off and talk about the word off, 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 off. Off. All that repetition is wonderful for language development and learning. You could use other toys that you have to make a pattern. So I have some pom-poms here and you could do green, blue, green, 
blue and on and on and on and then have your child fill in some more and you just made a little baby caterpillar you could spell out their name and have them wear it on their shirt as a little name tag so they can feel all grown up like you when you're out and about wearing a name tag. You can even use the physical roll of tape to roll across the room to your child or roll down the couch and watch it go boom, it fell down. I personally think it'd be fun to roll this down the stairs and just watch it go boom, 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 boom. You could roll it across the floor to each other. You could hold it and you could have your child try to toss things through. Got it. Score, you could talk about go, go in, go through. Put it on your wrist and pretend like it's a bracelet. I've even seen a picture of someone who taped a little road on the back of their t-shirt. They put the t-shirt on, they laid down, and they had their child play with toy cars on their back. Free back rub. You could tape some long lines in the frame of a doorway or a window and then you could throw objects at it and try to get it to stick like a spider web. You could make a big web and try to throw. Ha, missed that one. Let's see. Throw and try to stick them. We'll see if I can do it. Yes. <laughs> uh oh, and then it rolls down. Look, it's not very sticky, so it's rolling. Uh oh, and then you can learn the words don't fall, don't fall down. And then you can pull it off. You can say rip, tear. You could do tug of war, see if they can rip it. And then you can see which piece is bigger. Ooh, little, big. You could even tape your mouth shut or not. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and it'll keep you up to date whenever I post a new video.